today the topic of discussion is normalization of data and what we are going to do is that question on 3nf so prior to this we have understood what is third normal form and we have seen two definition of third normal form one is general definition and one is of transitive dependency so that is one we have discussed with transitive dependency and one with a uh, non-trivial dependency so now we'll discuss question on 3nf so let's start okay so the question is let r having following attribute is a table uh, and having following functional dependency determine whether the given r is in 3nf or not if not then decompose it into 3nf and determine how many table will be created on decomposition that is the question is that you have to determine that, that whether the given table with given functional dependency is in 3nf if 3nf then fine if not in 3nf then what will be the decomposition how many table will get decomposed so let's start so i just told you and i always tell you that in order to solve such questions you need to identify what is candidate key and how we find candidate key using arrow diagram one is from x to y that is from x to y and one is from y to p from y to p and then from z to w then from z to w fine okay so now you have this functional dependency uh, uh, arrow diagram okay now you have to determine what are those attributes which are not having any arrow pointing towards them so we have an attribute x which do not have an arrow we have an attribute z which do not have an arrow so and y is having an arrow w so x and z are two attribute which are not having any arrow so let's i don't know what will be my candidate key but whatever will be my candidate key will have xz as an integral part so let's find the closure of xz so xz closure will have xz now see the functional dependency using x you can write y so i am writing y using y you can write p so using y i can write p and using z z i can write w okay so with the help of xz i am able to determine all the attribute of a table this means this is a candidate key and only c x z will be a candidate key because as i just told you my candidate key will have x z as an integral part so if i increase any attribute along with x z that will become a super key not a candidate key fine so my candidate key is x z now the definition now see the functional dependency and definition of 3nf so definition of 3nf says if x to y yeah x to a is a non-trivial function dependency then either x should be a super key or a should be a prime attribute so let's write prime attribute so we have prime attribute that is attribute which are part of key xz are part of key so xz is a prime attribute and non-prime attribute are which are not part of key so y is not part of key w is not part of key and p is not part of key so we have these attributes which are not part of key so now uh, and uh, and super key is what xz candidate key is a super key so let's start with this functional dependent is this functional dependency is in third normal form this should be a super key is this a super key no x super key is xz so this is not super or this should be a prime attribute this is not a prime attribute because y is non prime attribute so this functional dependency this functional dependency is not in 3nf if any of the functional dependency is not in 3nf then no need to check further because if a table should be in a 3nf then all the functional dependency of a table should be in a 3nf while checking i found the first dependency is not in, in 3nf so 100% the entire functional dependency i'll not check the table is not in 3nf so the answer yes is incorrect fine a table is not in 3nf so if table is not in 3nf so what we need to this do is decompose the table so let's decompose the table so decompose the table first we'll decompose r1 having these two attribute x and y and dependency from x to y here x will be a super key so yes now x is a super key the definition is satisfied now r2 r2 is this functional dependency is in 3nf this should be a super key no this is not a super key this should be a prime attribute p is not a prime attribute p is a non prime attribute so this is not a in 3nf so we'll divide y and p into a table and where y is determining p so y becomes candidate key now this table is in 3nf then r3 to z and w where z where z determines where z determine where z determine w okay so z becomes candidate key fine okay now this three tables are in 3nf 
and the last table is for key of a table and the key is what is key r4 key is r x z so key is r x z so now these three table four tables are in 3 and f so the decomposition of this table is into four tables 1 2 3 and 4 so the correct answer is no and 4 so yes the correct answer is no and 4 we are correct now let's start with second question so we have given another question uh, given a relational schema r having following attribute pq rst u v w x y and set of functional dependency pq to r p to st q to u and u to v w and s to x y determine that given r is in 3nf or not if not then convert 3nf and determine the table same question okay so what we need to do we need to find the what we need to find the candidate key so how we find the candidate key using arrow diagram so let's make a arrow diagram using functional dependent pq to r p q to r fine p to st p to st p to s and t then q to u then q to u fine then u to v w u to v and w okay then s to x y s to x and y fine okay now you need to identify those attributes which are not determined by any of the attribute p is not determined p is not having any arrow so p will be a part of key q is not determined q will be a part of key r is determined s is determined t is t is having arrow u is having arrow v w all are having arrow except p and q p and q are two attribute which are not having any arrow pointing towards it so p q will be the integral part of a key let's find the closure of p q so closure of p q first will have p q now use functional dependency with the help of p q i can write r so i'm writing r with the help of p i can write st so with the help of p i can write s t with the help of q i can write u i am writing u with the help of u i can write vw i am writing vw with the help of s i am writing xy i am writing xy so finally with the help of pq i am determining all the attribute of a table so pq is a candidate key and only pq will be a candidate key because i just told you the key will have pq as an integral part so if i'll increase pq with any of the attribute that will become super key not candidate key fine okay now you have to check that given table is in third normal form or not so what is the definition of third normal form if x2a is a non-trivial functional dependency then either x2 should be a super key or a should be a prime attribute so now we have computed super key that is pq is a super key now what are prime attribute the attribute which are part of q pa part of key so part of key are pq so pq becomes what prime attribute and what are non prime attribute these all are non prime attribute fine these all are non prime attribute fine so these all are non prime so these are prime attribute and these all are non prime attribute fine so let's check each of the functional dependency pq to r this should be a super key pq is a super key yes pq is a super key so this functional dependency is in 3nf this is in 3nf but only one can prove this table is in 3nf no we have to check entire functional dependency now check the second this should be a super key p is a super key no pq is a super key or this should be a or or this should be a prime attribute st is a prime attribute no st is a non prime attribute so this dependency is not in 3nf if this dependency is not in 3nf and if any one of the functional dependency is not in 3nf the entire table is not in 3nf the entire table is not in 3nf so hence this table is not in 3nf now check all the functional dependency. is this is a prime attribute uh, super key no is this a prime attribute no this is also not in 3m is this is a super key no is this a prime attribute no this is a non prime attribute this is also not in 3m is this is a super key no is this a prime attribute no so except this all the functional dependency are not in 3nf so entire table is not in 3nf so let's decompose the table so let's decompose the table and we decompose the table using functional dependency so let's start so let's start with the functional dependency who are creating a problem this one was creating a problem so this r1 comes with p s and t where p determine s and t so p becomes key so now this is in 3nf r2 q to u 
q comma u where q determine u so q becomes super key so this table is in 3nf now r3 r3 comes u v w where u determine v and w so this table u have is a primary key or candidate key so this is in 3nf then r4 s x y where s determine x and y hence since x now is a super key so this table is 3nf now one table is for primary uh, for candidate key the candidate key is r5 which is pq and with the help of pq you are determining r so write r also so this pq is determining r so now we have how many tables after decomposition 1 2 3 4 5 and all these five table are in 3nf now so the answer is no and 5 yes this is the answer yes the answer is no and 5